Hello, it's James from xrobots.co.uk. It's a really hot day in the UK today. I've been working on the exosuit, but it's a bit too hot to carry on, so I thought I'd do a little tour. People keep asking me about where I work and things in here and all of that. So I've got a 360 camera, which means if you're on a phone, you can move it all around or tilt it or drag or something. And if you're watching on YouTube, you should be able to move the mouse and you can look all around so you can follow me around the whole room. So uh, this is the exosuit you've seen. I'm gonna uh, just take down the green screen. There's not much behind there, in fact, nothing hiding really. This is kind of the shelf and things where I normally stand, but the exosuit has taken up that end of the room. So, uh, what else have we got? Well, we've got the, some toolboxes with some tools in that live over here. Various other things, and we've got basically boxes of stuff for making things. And then the actual tools that I use a lot, I've now put into these bins. So that's uh, the one for screwdrivers and screwing objects. We've got one here for gripping tools, and this one is other stuff like files and measuring tools. And uh, pretty much people ask me about my workshop, but it's, as you know, probably, if you watch my channel, I'm just going to move the camera forward a little bit. As you know, it's uh, just this bench, really, where I make everything, which is my old dining room table, in, uh, until it got too messy. So uh, that's about it, but let's uh, have a look down here. So there's various other tools and stuff and uh, bits of studding and lead screws and things down here that are kept there. Some more tools, uh, basically loads of boxes of electronic stuff, all these things full of trays of electronic components, nothing too exciting there, mostly cables, some batteries, a box of clamps, and uh, follow me around to the other side of the room. So this is my editing desk where I do my editing and my computer which sometimes you see when I plug a robot in and make it do stuff. Now uh, we've got a new Lego thing here, let's just get the camera a bit closer. So I'm doing a new giant Lego build which is uh, what this is and if you remember the 80s you'll remember the giant Lego electric motor or at least the normal size one, that's the giant version and the giant wheel. So uh, down here of course we've got some robots, we've got Robot X along with its new controller you'll have seen recently. And we've got Ultron, which is going to have the finishing touches put on it soon. Probably with some paint and a lot of tidy up and a bit of a tweak of the virtual environment. Right, I'm in the 3D printing room. Yes, I am kneeling on the ground, so I'm nice and low because the camera's low because the printers are low. This was the room I had the spray booth in, if you remember when I was working on Hulkbuster. But that went away and now it's full of 3D printers. So uh, have a scroll around. None of them are actually on at the moment because I didn't want the sound to affect this recording because it gets quite noisy in here and quite hot as you imagine. You can see there's quite a few printers and that's basically how I get all the projects made every week because the majority of it's 3D printed and with all those machines making the parts that means I don't have to. And really the only other place of any interest is my lounge where the Star Wars droids live. I'm not sure which way you're looking but look the other way and you'll find the Gonk Droid R6 and one of my BB-8s. So they live here because there's nowhere else for them. Uh, Gonk Droid's mostly been stripped of parts actually. I was going to resurrect it but I've taken so many things off it now. Some for Robot X and some for some other projects. So that's never going to walk again unfortunately. BB-8 still runs and so does R6. And I've got uh, BB-8's controller right here wherever you're looking. Which lives down here with him. Great, but obviously Robot X is the new priority, so that's the one that's going to get all the stuff built on it from now on. Right, there's not much more to uh, show really, because that's basically all the resources I have for building things, and uh, there we go. So, uh, the camera I'm using, by the way, is a Samsung Gear 360, and that's why I've got my phone in my hand, because I'm using the phone app to preview and control it. I'm planning to use the camera for more things. I've got some better, shorter series. I know Ultron's been over a year, Hulkbuster was two years. I'm planning not to repeat long series like that, but do much shorter ones. And some with some more action, so we'll have a 360 version of the project testing. And all that is coming up in the current months. Don't forget to fund me on Patreon if you'd like to at patreon.com slash xrobots, which is how most of my projects are funded. Of course, patrons get all my videos early, including this one, as well as my live stream and various other rewards, and you can check out on the page. Alright, that's all for now.